here at Mitchie Stadium that's as rich in history as just about any other venue in the country. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. to get this one underway as the teams are lined up for the opening kick. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. From their own 25-yard line, second down. Down. Luke 14. Luke 14. Up, 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 up. <laughs> the 50. At the 30. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown! Big play! Georgia Tech with a six-point lead. He makes the PAT. A short two-play, 75-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. You know, you always prepare your offense to think that we're going to have some success. These guys got to be coming over the sidelines after touchdown, after touchdown, saying, man, I, I didn't expect it to be this easy. The score now, 7-0. Tackle at the 32-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Here's the pitch, and now he's got the corner. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. That brings us second and nine. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Two-yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Third down. It's third down and 11 to go. Ball on their own 31. Catches it and he's punished. Fourth down upcoming as they go three and out. Fields the punt at the 20. He's tackled at the 26. So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same result on this one? They ran the ball extremely well on their last drive. And until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. Run down after a nice run up the middle. That's good for a game of five yards. That brings them second and five. It's second and five here. Ball on the 31-yard line. Georgia Tech up seven points. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. That's a pretty nice run there. Yeah, anytime you can get production like this from the fullback, you give the defense something else to worry about. Gets hit out of bounds around the 42-yard line. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. From the 42-yard line, first down. Down! Blue 14! 
They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. So they go on the ground and pick up another first down. They are stringing together a nice little drive here. If they keep this up, it'll be hard to keep them out of the end zone. Now he's scrambling. Slides down. Picks up about nine on the scramble. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. And they make the stop at the 24-yard line. You know, a lot of times coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. And on that tackle, he showed you why that's the case. He laterals the ball. He's got an opening. He goes out of bounds at the seven-yard line. That's good for a gain of 17 yards. That makes it first and goal. Can smell the end zone as they look to extend this lead. Georgia Tech is up by a touchdown. Positive yardage. He keeps it on the option and picks up maybe four. This is the ninth play of this drive. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Tackle at the five. More plays like this, and the coaching staff is going to need to change up the blocking scheme. You can't allow the defense to play in your backfield. This is a big play for the offense that can put them up by two scores. It's third down from the four. Touchdown, Georgia Tech! And that's his second touchdown of the day. This is a defensive coordinator's worst nightmare is having to defend a quarterback that has an ability to run the football. He's already scored twice in his first half, and the defensive coordinator needs to start accounting for him and his ability to run the football. Looks like they're ready for the kick. From the seven. He makes it out to maybe the 30-yard line. The defense did a nice job shutting down the offense the last time they had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. And he's taken down at the 32. And he's tackled right around the 34. make it fourth down the offense really had nowhere to go on that one the play was very well defended and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt the black knights lost one of their key guys earlier to that injury and unfortunately i don't think he's going to play any more football today and he's tackled at the 34. The Yellow Jackets really could have uh, overlooked this team today, I think, very easily, but they haven't done that so far. No, you can't take anybody too lightly, and they've obviously not done that. They come out of the gate today and really put a lot of points up on the board. We've played one quarter. Georgia Tech leads 14-0. Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And they get him in the backfield for a loss. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Good 
outside run there. Game seven on the play. That'll make it third and five. come up with it. That was a huge play because he disrupted the quarterback's rhythm. Anytime you can come that close to picking off a pass, it makes him think just a little bit more. Tackle made at the 24. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And down he goes around the 21-yard line. Loss of three on the play. That brings up second and 13. From their own 21-yard line, second down. As a defender, you want to keep your hands up. Maybe you can come away with a pick or at least deflect the ball. With the pass incomplete. Number 21, the intended receiver on the play. That'll bring up fourth and 13. And he's taken down at the 45. The Yellow Jackets came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong. But the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big playability. He can run to the 20, the 10. He's taken down around the two-yard line. Perfectly run option keeper. Not what you'd expect when you prepare all week to defend the option. But then again, give this offense some credit. These guys aren't exactly the scout team. So first and goal after that huge run. They'll work the left side. Scoops it up. That just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. They're set to go for another round. The Yellow Jackets running back sideline earlier with that injury. Right now, though, it looks like he's uh, warming up, trying to get back in the ball game. Nice run, and he's brought down. <laughs> Tackle made at the 36. And he's stopped behind the line. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. From their own 40-yard line, it's third down. Nice play fake. Slides down to the ground. They'll be short of the first down after that unsuccessful running play. Nice job here by the defense of holding firm and forcing a fourth down. 
The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. Georgia Tech's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Harvey. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So there's still a lot of football to be played. He's scrambling. And he can't get away from the pressure. I mean, as an offensive lineman, this is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that? Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So the quarterback scrambles for about two yards on the play. Third and about 15 yards to the sticks. Ball on their own 26. He zips it out to the left. And that one's fallen incomplete. Number 88, the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 15. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Steps out of bounds at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Tackles him hard at the 35-yard line. Great touch by the quarterback. Flowing that one right into his hands. That takes some skill. And he's sacked. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. He just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. So the sack makes this a second and long. Throws complete and he's hit right away. the 44. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. Fourth and long here after the sack. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. They bring him down in the backfield. We'll give the defense all the credit here. Man, that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. Don't go anywhere, folks. It looks like we might have a pretty good game on our hands after all. 14-0, Georgia Tech.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Of all the games I've ever seen, of all the first halves we've covered this year, of every game I've ever watched during my long career covering this sport that I love and cherish so much, that certainly was one of the halves. Uh, come on, ho-hum, so what? Nothing happened. Well, I mean, then I have to, you know, because you've been doing it for so long and you're the elder statesman, and since you've been covering football longer than I've been alive, I have to take your opinion. I, I, I have to go with it. I have to say that if you thought it was that boring, I'm on board. You know what? I mean, I, I always listen to the senior citizens of this world, and I will continue to for this broadcast. It was ho-hum. It was kind of boring. I agree with you, Mr. Davis. If I could find somebody to help me, I'd set you up for a chop block right now. <laughs> 15 yards. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. It's fielded at the two. He's to the 20. What a collision! Georgia Tech's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. Ready! Three, three, five. Carries the ball for a nice game. Around four yards there on the quarterback keeper. That makes it seven and six. He's He's up. He's tackled at the 36 yard line. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. a yard on that quarterback keeper. Six yard line. You keep gaining negative yards and you put yourself in a position of having to make bigger and bigger plays. Puts a lot of pressure on that quarterback. Fourth down, and the offense is still on the field. Steps up and goes down. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. And he hits him hard with the 30-yard line. That makes it second and eight. From their own 30-yard line, second down. Makes it out to about the 50. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. From midfield. 
First down. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Makes it to the 37. That makes it first and 10. From the 37 yard line, first down. And they make the stop around the 36 yard line. Decides to keep it and picks up seven yards. That makes it third and three. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Laterals back, knocked out of bounds around the 18 yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They're in the red zone after coughing up the ball on their last trip down here. And he's taken down around the 20-yard line. So they wrapped him up before he could get anything going. Yeah, there was nothing there on that option. From the 20-yard line. Second down. Tackle at the 19. Tenth play of the drive. Well, after that injury, we'll get to see the backup quarterback here. And he's down. It's the 11th play of the drive. The Yellow Jackets quarterback down there on the sideline. He was injured earlier. He means so much to this team. And right now, it looks like he's maybe going to be able to get back in the game. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, so we'll hope so. From the one yard line, it's second down. Defense stacked in tight here. There was some movement along the line. Let's get the call. Still second down. Touchdown, Georgia Tech. And he tacks on the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. And he'll return this one from the seven. He's out to the 30. They'll bring him down at the 43. The Black Knights are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for you. 
gets to about the 44-yard line. He keeps it and picks up maybe a yard. We've watched this guy play, and over the course of his college career, he's made some spectacular tackles. Nice play. Now he tries to buy some time, and he is drilled the 39-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on. Him. And they'll probably try to throw here as they line up on third down and 14. That's three down and one to go. The Yellow Jackets with a three touchdown advantage. back in this very pivotal fourth quarter. And on the throw, he caught it. That's a huge, huge stop here in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. They're going to get the football back, but there's still a lot of ball left. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. They make it fourth and two. And once again, the coaches decided to go for it on fourth down. You don't need three guesses to figure out what they're going to run right here on fourth and short. And he's tackled at the 33. going to try and scramble and he's going to come up with a sack that is a loss of four yards that makes it second and 14. this is the 10th play of this drive He's scrambling. They'll make the sack. And the number two with the quarterback sack. Loss of one on the play. That brings us third and 14. Check nine, check nine. Fires incomplete. Number two was the intended receiver. Well, they're two for two on fourth down so far in this drive. Why not try it again? Set. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. You aren't going to convert many fourth downs against this defense. That's a really good stop. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Gets out to around the 48. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run up the middle. 
First down. down. Makes it out to about the 41 yard line. That's a deep deep. Deep. That brings us second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 41. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. To the 10. And he will score. Well, there's a touchdown that we really don't care about. This game is still well out of reach. He makes the PAT. Georgia Tech gets set to kick this one away. Fielded at the four. He's to the 20. Brought down at the 25-yard line. For Georgia Tech, they've been getting into the backfield quite a bit. This is turning into a day that the offensive line wants to forget. All the good plays from this defense has helped them into the lead. Well, late in the fourth quarter, this game has been over for a long time, and now we just want to get out of here like these two teams do. And down he goes at the 23-yard line. This guy's out of the stance so quickly that he's really a nightmare to try to block. They found out right here on this play. It's second down, 12 to go. Ball on the 23-yard line. We have less than a minute to go. And he tackles him hard at the 18. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Well, a nice stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Georgia Tech's proven to be the better team in every facet of this football game. Boy, their defense has played lights out. Their offense is taking advantage of their opportunities. Everything has led them to a very comfortable lead. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. That's going to do it for this one. Our final score, 28 to nothing, Yellow Jackets. And the Army Black Knights. That's going to do it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, this is Brad Nessler saying goodbye.